our modern world, we're surrounded by screens that paint our lives in vibrant colors. Our phones connect us instantly across vast distances. Medical machines peer inside our bodies. All of these marvels trace their origins to the work of one brilliant but often overlooked scientist, James Clerk Maxwell, a man whose insights would fundamentally reshape our understanding of the physical world and lay the foundation for the technological revolution that would follow. The story begins in Edinburgh, Scotland, on June 13, 1831, during an era of unprecedented change. The Industrial Revolution was transforming Britain's landscape, steam engines were revolutionizing transportation, and scientific discoveries were challenging centuries-old beliefs about the natural world. Into this dynamic period, James Clerk Maxwell was born into a middle-class family with a comfortable home at 14 India Street in Edinburgh's new town. His father, John Clerk Maxwell, was a lawyer with a deep interest in technology and mechanical devices, an interest that would profoundly influence his young son. Young James spent his early years at the family estate of Glenlair in Kirkubrishire, where the rolling hills and dramatic skies of Scotland's countryside became his first classroom. The estate's isolation might have limited another child's development, but for James, it became a sanctuary of discovery. His father had filled their home with scientific instruments, mechanical models, and books that fed the boy's growing curiosity. It was here that James developed his trademark question, asked in his distinctive Scottish accent. What's the go o oh, that? How does that work? This simple phrase would become the driving force behind a lifetime of scientific inquiry. Tragedy struck early in James's life when his mother, Frances K. Maxwell, died from abdominal cancer when he was just eight years old. Despite this profound loss, James's father ensured his son's education continued, hiring tutors and encouraging his scientific interests. However, the young boy's first formal education at the Edinburgh Academy proved challenging. His unusual country manners and slightly odd clothing, made by a rural tailor, earned him the nickname Dafty from his classmates. Yet James's brilliant mind soon became apparent to both his teachers and peers. While other children were still mastering basic arithmetic, Maxwell was already exploring the complexities of geometry. His mathematical genius emerged early and spectacularly. At just 14 years old, he achieved something extraordinary. The publication of his first scientific paper on oval curves in the Proceedings of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. This wasn't a simple student exercise. It was a sophisticated mathematical investigation that caught the attention of Edinburgh's scientific elite. The paper demonstrated Maxwell's remarkable ability to visualize complex mathematical relationships and express them clearly, a skill that would later prove crucial in his groundbreaking work on electromagnetism. Maxwell's formal education continued at Edinburgh University, where he studied from 1847 to 1850. During this time, he devoured knowledge across multiple disciplines, from philosophy to chemistry. His professors were amazed by his ability to grasp complex concepts quickly and his talent for designing experiments to test theoretical ideas. It was during these university years that Maxwell began to develop his unique approach to scientific problems, combining mathematical rigor with physical intuition in a way that few scientists before or since have managed. In 1850, Maxwell moved to Cambridge University's Trinity College, where he would truly begin to flourish as a scientist. Cambridge was then the center of British mathematical physics, and it was here that Maxwell refined his mathematical skills and began to tackle some of the most challenging problems in physics. His undergraduate years were marked by outstanding academic achievement, culminating in his graduation as second wrangler in the mathematical tripos, essentially coming second in the entire university in mathematics, and winning the prestigious Smith's Prize. But it was in the realm of electricity and magnetism where Maxwell would make his most profound contributions. In the mid-19th century, these were still seen as separate mysterious forces. Scientists knew they existed but couldn't explain how they worked or how they might be connected. The brilliant experimental work of Michael Faraday had shown that electricity and magnetism were somehow related, but no one had been able to express this relationship mathematically or explain how it actually worked. Maxwell changed everything. Through brilliant mathematical insight and rigorous experimentation, he proved that electricity and magnetism were two aspects of the same force, electromagnetism. His work culminated in the publication of A Dynamical Theory of the Electromagnetic Field in 1865, which contained what we now know as Maxwell's equations. These equations showed that electric and magnetic fields travel through space in the form of waves, moving at the speed of light. This wasn't just an academic discovery. It was the key that would unlock the modern age. The implications of Maxwell's electromagnetic theory were staggering. He had shown that light itself was an electromagnetic wave, 
unifying optics with electricity and magnetism. His equations predicted the existence of other electromagnetic waves with different wavelengths, what we now know as radio waves, microwaves, X-rays, and more. Though these other waves wouldn't be experimentally detected until after his death, Maxwell's theoretical work had laid the foundation for countless technological innovations that we rely on today. Every time you use your mobile phone, watch television, or heat something in your microwave oven, you're using Maxwell's equations. When you connect to Wi-Fi or use GPS navigation, you're benefiting from his insights into electromagnetic waves. Modern telecommunications, from radio and television to satellite communications and the internet, all depend on the principles Maxwell discovered. But Maxwell wasn't just interested in invisible waves, he was fascinated by color, and his work in this field was equally revolutionary. In 1855, he created something remarkable. The color triangle. This simple but profound tool showed how all colors could be created by mixing different amounts of red, green, and blue light. Think about any screen you use today. Your phone, your computer, your television. Every pixel is created using exactly this principle. Mixing red, green, and blue light in different proportions to create millions of colors. Maxwell didn't just theorize about color. He proved his ideas through groundbreaking experiments. In 1861, he performed what seemed like magic to his contemporaries. He created the world's first color photograph. His subject was a tartan ribbon, a choice that paid tribute to his Scottish heritage while also providing a complex color pattern to test his theory. By taking three separate photographs through red, green, and blue filters, then combining them, he created something unprecedented, a world captured in true color. This experiment laid the foundation for all modern color photography and digital imaging. To demonstrate his theories about color mixing, Maxwell created an ingenious device, the color wheel. When spun rapidly, it showed how different combinations of basic colors could create new ones. This wasn't just a scientist's toy, it was a window into understanding how our eyes and brain process color, and it helped establish the fundamental principles of color science that we still use today. Maxwell's work wasn't limited to electromagnetic theory and color. He made significant contributions to the kinetic theory of gases, developing what we now call the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, which describes how gas molecules move and interact. He explained Saturn's rings years before we had the technology to study them in detail, correctly predicting that they must be composed of small particles rather than being solid or liquid. His work on control theory, particularly his analysis of governors used in steam engines, helped lay the groundwork for modern automation and control systems. As a teacher and mentor, Maxwell was equally influential. He served as the first Cavendish professor of physics at Cambridge University, where he designed and equipped the famous Cavendish Laboratory. This laboratory would become one of the world's leading centers for physical research, producing numerous Nobel Prize winners and groundbreaking discoveries in physics. Maxwell's approach to teaching emphasized the importance of both theoretical understanding and practical experimentation, an approach that continues to influence science education today. Tragically, Maxwell's brilliant career was cut short. He died in Cambridge, England, on November 5, 1879, at just 48 years old, from the same type of cancer that had claimed his mother. But in his brief life, he had laid the groundwork for the technological revolution that would transform the 20th century and beyond. His influence extends far beyond his own time. Albert Einstein kept a picture of Maxwell on his study wall, alongside one of Michael Faraday, and described Maxwell's contributions to physics as the most profound and the most fruitful that physics has experienced since the time of Newton. From the curious boy in the Scottish countryside to the brilliant physicist who unified electricity and magnetism, James Clerk Maxwell's journey changed our understanding of the universe. While his name may not be as widely known as Newton or Einstein, his influence surrounds us every day, in every color we see on our screens, in every wireless signal that connects us, in countless technologies we take for granted. The next time you send a text message, watch a color video, or warm up your lunch in the microwave, remember the brilliant Scotsman who made it all possible. Remember James Clerk Maxwell, the man who changed our world. His life was a testament to the power of curiosity, to the importance of asking, what's the go oh that? And through his discoveries, he gave us a world of color, connectivity, and wonder that even he could scarcely have imagined. Explore the work of James Clerk Maxwell further and dive into the incredible story of how his discoveries continue to shape our future. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the lives of history's greatest minds.